What, what were the major lessons that you learned from making Lady Godiva? Um, I learnt, the major lesson that I learnt was to not make a film when you don't know its marketplace before you make it. So when I made Godiva, I was just a teenager who wrote a script, who had no idea what, you know, about the world I was getting into other than the driving ambition to be a filmmaker. And I think you have to be very lucky to hit all the nails on the head when you're taking that approach. I would never regret it, and none of my investors regret it, because it launched the company and the, the brand association with it was massive and it was a great launch pad. But um, it was a very niche market. It's a romance more than a romantic comedy, and that was quite a hard sell. And it took two years to you know get the film out there and distribute it, and it hasn't been massively commercially successful. Mm. So with the next film we're making, Born of War, we went and we went out to all the markets and the festivals, and we met all the distributors and sales agents and said, what is selling right now? What works? Because mm. as a filmmaker, you want an audience, mm. and we took all they said and we put it into this mm. next film because that's what's important. So you you've made this 1.2 million film that in mm. your own words hasn't been hugely commercially successful. No. You've now moved on to perhaps a, mo a more mature film. I don't yes. know whether it is, but yeah, um, I, I get so. the <laughs> sense that it is. <laughs> yeah. um, how, what's, how different is your approach to Born of War and, and what were the big lessons from Godiva that you've taken into Born of War? So the first one is target market. So Born of War is made for the, the young male age group, which is the biggest cinema going population, the biggest DVD buyers. They're also on the internet, so they're easy to access at a mm. grassroots level. It's either horror or action, really, so we went for action because I'm too scared to watch horror films, so I don't know enough about them to be able to direct one. Also, I love the action genre. I've always loved it since being a kid. Um, the second thing I learned was cast very important to get the right mm. cast in order to open the doors so we have a really good casting director on board and we're targeting cast from programs like Skins who are looking for a leg up so they're not impossible to get to but have a huge cult following right. um, other thing is script really you have to get that right and right. Um, we've, we've worked with a professional writer on Born of War which has made a huge difference to do with the structure right. you know I have these ideas and my producer writes for me and we have these fantastic concepts and we know what we want We've visionaries, you know what we want at the end, but to get it so that it's delivered properly and so that the film doesn't fall down on that, it's important not right. to do that. Well, right now we're watching some, some clips from the actual promo that you put together mm. um, for, uh, for your picture. Oh, yeah. what, what, was, what was the approach to doing this and, and who have you been showing this to? So this is uh, mainly for investors um, and distributors. So we had raised a certain amount of money for the film by running another party, but in the recession it has been a lot harder. So we thought, what can we do that will just give that little bit more confidence to the project? And we thought we could spend X amount, because we're also making this film very low budget for an action film, and people don't think we can pull it off. So we thought, we'll throw in special effects, stunts, foreign locations, we'll do everything we say we can do, and we'll show people that we know what we're doing, and we'll create a six-minute version of the film we did it for £15,000 and we'll check that this is exactly what the distributors want and so we've taken it round and screened it and they all really like it which is a good sign um, and it's really helped us garner investment and what kind of budget are you looking to raise this time it's the budget for Born of War £650,000 right right and and again you're targeting investors and distributors you're not mm -hmm. going for normal traditional production companies but um, I, d I think with production companies, obviously I've got my own production company now, so I'd rather I'd you could do a co-production. That's true. I think uh, in the current environment, I have found that. For them to take a risk on another film that's not already their own is a much bigger risk than just doing their own mm. film. And if you can do it and control it yourself and do everything the way you want to do it, that's the best position to be mm. in. And that's the route I've taken. And I think with Godiva I learnt that as well. As it's very difficult to get a production company to say, mm. yeah, we'll do this with you. Um, I, may, I might be wrong, I haven't actually tried it that much mm. with Born of War because I have a five-year plan for my production company which we're also garnering investment for to create a slate of films in the next five years to make about eight films mm. um, and that is attracting a lot of interest because mm. people don't just back one film, they're backing the whole idea and the investors in Godiva have all come across to that plan so for me it's about building this company with all these IP rights for certain films. Mm. Um, so no, I guess it is an unusual route. And who's in your team? Who's who's actually working with you? I have my right-hand man, Rupert Whitaker, who's the producer. He came on board, Godiva, as, a, as an AD, um, and proved himself to be way more useful than an AD, as well as being a great AD, and became the producer and helped get it out to the sales and distribution end. And he's sort of stuck with the company. He's quite new in the business, so he's got quite a fresh look on things. Um, so he manages all the budgets. He pulls everything 
everything in for the money that we have. He finds the right crew for us to work with who are doing it for the right reasons. Right. Um, and then I have two people in the office who started as interns because we run an internship scheme where you work three months for free and then if we like you we give you a full-time job mm. so we've got two of those at the moment and that's it mm. okay and how do you survive day to day mm. well um we run sort of several other corporate ventures on the side to help bring in the bread um but also some of the investment because it's into our production company helps fund the company while we're raising money so it is a difficult thing to do mm. because whilst you're sat in that office paying staff, that's not going on the film, and the money's going down, mm. and it's all a balancing and a juggling act, really. Mm. Mm. 